Good day everyone! Today, we will be discussing HVO asymptotes of the graphs of rational functions. Let us define first what an asymptote is. An asymptote is a straight line in which a graph or a curve moves closer and closer to it but never touches it. Ito yung sinasabi nating pinaglapit sila pero hindi pinagtagpo. Let's see. HVO means horizontal vertical oblique asymptotes. Ang graph ng rational function ay maaaring magkaroon ng HV horizontal vertical o kaya ay vertical oblique. So palaging dalawa ang combination nila. They always go in pair. Pwedeng HV o kaya ay VO. Ano yung HV? HV means horizontal vertical asymptote. What is a horizontal line? How do we describe it? Ito ay horizontal line. And this one is a vertical line. Ang sabi natin, these are always straight line. In which a graph moves closer and closer to it. So, ibig sabihin, nandito yung graph niya. At yung kapares niya ay nandito sa baba. They move closer and closer to this line, this line, and this line. Pero hindi sila pagtatagpuin. They will never intersect. Now, another combination will be like this. A vertical line. Ito yung vertical and oblique. Oblique means diagonal or slant. Ito siya. Let's say this one is the diagonal line. Now, this can be the graph. Ito. At saka, ito. Now, how do we find the equation of this? The equation of the vertical line? The equation of the horizontal line? The equation of the oblique line? Yun ang pag-aaralan natin. That is the HVO asymptotes. How to find them? This examples. Remember, hindi natin sila yung graph. We'll just find the HVO, the horizontal vertical oblique asymptotes. Okay. Let's take example number 1. f of x is equal to 4 over x minus 2. Gawin nyo ka agad, if you are finding for the vertical, that is x equals, and then for the horizontal, y equals. x equals, y equals. Okay? To find the vertical asymptote, you just solve the denominator, meaning equate the denominator to 0 and solve for x. x is equal to 2. That's it. Now, compare the degree of numerator and denominator. Degree is 0, degree is 1. Degree is 0, degree is 1. I'm talking about the numerator and denominator. It's less than. If that is less than, automatically your horizontal asymptote is 0. Take note, horizontal is this and vertical is this. Next, what about example number 2? Example number 2, you have x plus 2 is equal to 0. You solve for x, that is negative 2. That is already your vertical asymptote. In this case, the two degrees, the degrees of the numerator and the denominators are equal. Pag pareha sila, this is what you're going to do. Ang degree nito is 1, the degree of this is 1. Kukunin mo ang numerical coefficient of the leading variable. Kukunin mo ang numerical coefficient of the leading variable in the denominator, which is 1. Divide mo lang, that is already 2. Example number 3. Let's find the vertical asymptote. Again, this is x equals. You get the denominator x minus 3 equals 0. Solve for x. x is equal to 3. So that's it. In this case, we do not have any horizontal asymptote. Instead, we have an oblique. Why? If the degree of the numerator, 2, is greater than the degree of the denominator, 1, we do not have any horizontal. What we have is an oblique, a diagonal. Okay. How do we get it? That is y equals. You just divide the numerator by the denominator. 
using synthetic numerical coefficient of x squared, numerical coefficient of x, and then the constant. Divisor, this one, 3. Bring down 1, multiply 3, add 5, multiply 15. This is 18. This is the remainder column. This one is the constant column. And this one is the x column. So therefore, your oblique asymptote is x plus 5. So this is y equals x plus 5. That's it.